Okay, this is going to be a bit of a weird setup. But I really wanted to get this video out. And so here I am. All right, I wanted to do a one year update of my Lux. Because it has been a year. I can't believe it. I think my last video was two months. Um, actually, at the recording of this video, it's actually 13 months that I've been locked. So let's get into it. I have some notes so that I won't forget anything. So um, how has the year been? So it started off slow. I swear every week I was like, has it only been a week? Only been two weeks? It's only been a month. It seemed to go by so slow in the beginning. And I felt like those twists were never going to leave and turn into locks. But they did, and then after about month five, you kind of stop counting, and then you have to like do the calculation and say, okay, I got locked in May, June, July, August, to see where you are on the um, month. So after about month five, I kind of stopped counting. And I was like, okay, so we are at month six, and it's looking okay, and everything's going okay. So. I would say once I got to about month five, I was really loving my locks and everything was going great. And I was um, enjoying my curly ends because that's something that I committed to right away. I knew I wanted to keep my curly ends. So I had to focus on combing those out every time I shampooed my hair. I had to go through each lock and comb through the curly ends and put some curl cream on them simply because um, they wanted to lock up and they were locking up with the rest of my hair. So I would have to maintain and go through and comb those out. And so it was a bit of a challenge. I would say the first um, seven to eight months. And then after that, it got to where they kind of stopped locking up so much. And I didn't have to comb them out every single time I shampooed but I would only have to do it maybe once a month or so. At first, I was like, I would say once I got to maybe month 11th, I was like, my hair ain't really grown none. It's about the same. But then I said, let me go back and look at the pictures because I was taking pictures every month so that I could see my progress. And I went back and looked at pictures and I was like, okay, my hair has definitely grown. So quit tripping, your hair is definitely grown. And then I would see people that I haven't seen in a few months and they would say, oh, your hair is really growing. So yes, definitely can tell the growth from when I first got locked up to now. All right, and my shampoo routine. So my shampoo routine has not changed much since I started. Um, I'm not committed to a particular shampoo brand. I just basically use a clarifying shampoo and then I follow that up with a moisturizing shampoo. So that could vary from Maui moisture to something, I don't know, whatever I have on hand. It's been Shea Moisture products, um, Maui Moisture products. Usually when I was a straight natural, I had a lot of stuff. So I just used all that up um, no particular brand I can say um, I love right now. So I've just been trying different things and just making sure um, the only commitment has been clarifying first and then following up with a moisturizing shampoo and then a conditioner. So the conditioners I've been using is um, you know, everybody talks about buildup with conditioner. So I tried the Lux Sanity conditioner and it, I didn't really care for it for my hair. It wasn't conditioning enough. It feels so good on my scalp though. I could use it just for that. It feels, it's pepperminty, so it feels really good when I put it on. But as far as conditioning, it wasn't really doing anything for me. Um, my hair is color treated, so I really need conditioning I don't have time to play around with um, light watery conditioners I need to condition so um, that just wasn't getting it for me 
I think it would be okay for someone who wasn't color treated maybe, but for me, it just wasn't doing it. It seems like the lighting is getting worse. Okay. So, um, it really wasn't getting it for me. So I um, started using other conditioners that I had on hand, like the um, Shea Moisture, Maui Moisture, other things like that. I would just use regular old conditioners, um, leave them in for about five minutes or so, and then thoroughly rinse them out. So whenever I thought I was done rinsing, I would just rinse for another minute or two. So that's my shampoo routine. That's been my shampoo routine. And that's that. So my retwist routine. Um, I retwist about every four weeks. If I'm being honest, in the beginning, I was doing it more than that. Um, well, in the beginning, I had to do it more than that. So, and I think I talked about this on a previous video. I found out that in the early stages, I needed to do, I couldn't go more than three weeks because my hair would start marrying together really badly if I went over three weeks without a retwist. And I wasn't one that could uh, not shampoo in between retwists. I, I, I just couldn't wait that long. So I would have to shampoo my hair in between retwists. And so um, I was retwisting about every three weeks and um, as I got to, I would say about month seven, maybe seven months, seven or eight, I realized that my locks were getting a little more mature and I did not have to retwist as often. I could do like, I could shampoo and not have to retwist my hair and they wouldn't marry. So that was good, but I still like that fresh retwist look. So I was still retwisting about every three weeks. For some reason, I just could not make it to that fourth week. So I was, yeah, I would try to stretch it to four, but if I'm being honest, it was more like every three weeks. That has recently changed in the last month or two, and I would do another video about that and my two frequent retwist routine my too frequent too frequent I was retwisting too much girl so I'm not doing it every three weeks anymore I'm spreading it out some and I'll do a separate video on why I chose to do that but uh, you probably already know why and I think when you have starter locks that you, that's okay and you can get away with that but as my locks were maturing, they did start, I saw visible thinning approaching as I was retwisting so often. So I, I decided to slow it down just a bit. And as far as um, going to the shop, so I did go to the shop. I was going to the shop every few months and then in between there, I was doing it myself. So I went to the shop to get my starter locks and then about every, I would say two to three months, I would visit a loctician. And throughout this year journey, I have visited three different locticians. And that is because I was trying to find the right loctician for me. So I, I, I haven't had luck with finding the loctician that is right for me. And the sad part is none of them, it hasn't been because of their quality of work. It's always something else. So <laughs> they've all done good jobs on their work. So um, one girl I found, the second one, I really liked her work, but I was at the salon for four hours every time I went to visit her. I was like, I can't keep doing this. I, ca I cannot stay in the salon for four hours. It's just, no, no, two hours, I I'm good with that. I can, I can accept that. But for me, being a person who has not been in that salon life in a long time, and then having to go for four hours, it just wasn't working for me. 
lactation number one, she couldn't shampoo. And she was, I was willing to give her another try, but she was just way too far. So it was over an hour drive. So I was gonna go back to her actually, cause I liked her, but it was just way too far. Lactation number two was far too, but I really liked her work, but I was in the salon for four hours and I had to pay for parking and it, it was just a whole thing. So then lactation number three, she was a little bit closer and the parking was free, but I didn't like, I know this is gonna sound petty. I didn't like the smell of the product she used. That's, I didn't, I didn't like the smell of the product she used to twist my hair. I just, it smelled like old grease. It smelled like old grease. And I just didn't like it. And uh, my hair was smelling like that, like for a week. And every time I smelt it, I just got angry. And it wasn't just that. When I got out of her chair, I found that we was talking. You know how you talking and you're like, yeah, girl, and okay, and bye, and I'm gonna book my next appointment. I found out that lady did not like Beyonce. Mm -mm, I wasn't getting back in her chair. No, ma'am, I was not doing it. You don't like Beyonce. What's... So yeah, you know that relationship was never going to work out. So anyway, yeah. Um, I And granted, she could have used another product. I could have brought her the product I use, which is, I like to use the lock-in, which I hated that at first, but I like it now. Um, the lock-in gel. So, um, I couldn't let her put that stuff back in my head. I just could not. It, it just smelled like old grease. And, um, so she texted me like as a follow-up about a month after I got my hair done and she asked me how everything was going and she was just following up and I really appreciated that. I'm like, okay, that's some good customer service. So I text her back and I let her know that I really liked my hair and it felt so light and fluffy and had a lot of movement to it and I enjoyed my service. But the one thing I did not like was the product she used. I did not like the smell of it. No offense, but I am very sensitive to smells and that particular smell bothered me. And somebody might like it, you know, like, I bought this one oil. Everybody on YouTube was like, oh, it smells so good, it smells so good, it smells so good. When I got it, I was like, this shit stinks. And so everybody's smell is not the same. So that oil she used might smell good to somebody, but I did not like it. So I was trying to say it really not to offend, but I was just telling her I did not like the smell and that was the only gripe I had. I mean, you asked me how the service went, so I'm telling you. And I gave her praise for everything else, so she didn't respond. And I'm like, if you ain't wanna know why you ask. So, all that to say, I don't have a lactician. It's just me doing my own hair now I don't know if I'll even look for another one if I do get my hair done I'm probably gonna go back to the girl who started my locks even though she's over an hour away um, I'll just pack a lunch go on a weekend and get my hair done by her but yeah uh, last thing I want to talk about is my daily moisture routine and what I do for daily moisture. So one thing that has not changed and has been consistent is the product I use for my daily moisture and it's the Lock Sanity Spray. I really love that. So um, I have reordered that consistently and that is still what I use to do my daily spray with. I spray that on just about every day i say just about because if it's the weekend i might skip if i'm not going out the house or doing nothing i might not spray my hair but for the most part every single day i spray my give my hair a spray with that and um i might put some oil a little bit of oil on once or twice a week over the spray i recently just implemented steaming um i have a handheld 
steamer and I'm probably gonna do that maybe once a month um, steam my locks for extra moisture um, and at night my night routine is I tie it up well in the early stages I tied it with a scarf but now girl it's so long <laughs> It's just like, you know, it's just draping so long. I, I can't do that anymore because it just sticks out from the scarf. And I have to put, a, I put one of those bonnets on that's like really long and you could put all your long hair in there and it hangs. So I use that now because, you know, problems with the long hair. But no, for real. <laughs> It's, um, I did used to tie it up at first, but now I just use the bonnet and, um, that's how I sleep. So at night I don't put anything on. I put my bonnet on and some nights I don't put anything on. I just lay down and go to sleep, but I do have, um, satin pillowcases. So, um, that's that. So I just lay down and go to sleep and that's it. So that is it. That is my one year update. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Um, I reached a year. I was worried that I would not reach a year because I did not think I was going to make it because I'm the type that I didn't think I could keep a hairstyle for this long. I didn't think I could keep the same hairstyle for this long and I really love my locks. I think this is the best hair decision I have ever made. I can't see myself turning back, never say never, but I don't see myself doing anything else um, with my hair. It's just, somebody. I heard somebody say the other day, um, locks is like having, having permanent box braids and it's kind of like, yeah, it's kind of like what it is. And I just love it. I never have to worry about what am I doing with my hair today? What am I doing with my hair this week? Oh, how am I gonna wear my hair? I just have to make sure it's shampooed and clean and moisturized maybe. And that's pretty much it. And I just do my regular side part and wear it down. I don't do any styles um, cause it really hasn't been long enough to I mean, it's long enough to put in a style if I wanted to, but I'm not really into styles that much. I went to an event where I had to dress up once and I did like pin it up in the back and put it up towards the front. That was the only style I did. And I got a style when I first got locked up. And that's been it for styles for me because I'm just really not into them like that, like that, so. But that's it. But okay, I'm babbling now. Um, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.